guys, just wanted to have a quick chat this morning. I um, was thinking about doing a blog post, but again, I've been lazy and these video posts have been a lot easier for me to make. So, um, something I've seen come up quite a bit recently, both in the, the digital measurement industry and in my personal life, is um, pricing of products and services. And getting caught up in looking at the sticker price for product A and product B that look the same from the sticker and and uh, logically saying, well, I'm going to go with the cheaper one because that makes the most sense. Um, <clears throat> however, I've learned that really it's it's rare that, that both stickers compare to each other equally. And so to simply look at price is, is really setting yourself up for failure long term. Um, great example is I'm trying to put a heating system in and I got... No, three or four bids from really reputable um, contractors in the area, uh, people that had uh, had their the systems installed from them had, had given some really great feedback, um, and just you know they were they seemed top of the line. Uh, and then I also got a bid from a a guy that a friend of the family had recommended, and he came in about two thousand dollars cheaper than the other guys. Uh, didn't check his references. He was, you know, supposedly good and family friend. So might as well go with him and save two thousand bucks, right? It's the same service. I'm gonna get the same product in the end. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Fast forward eight weeks. If I would have went with the the more reputable services, um, I'd most likely have the the project done. Um, but now it's going to end up costing me probably double, more expensive than going with the expensive guys at first because the system doesn't work has needed multiple overhauls and as it sits today the system is completely inoperable so by trying to save two thousand dollars up front by going with the cheapest solution actually ended up costing me the most money in the long run and I think that's the same with a lot of things whether it's it's services or products that we're buying it's easy to get caught up and say wow well if this is X and the other ones why I'm going with the cheaper one and we fail to look at well, what is the total cost of ownership of this of this service or this product? Am I ha I'm am I going to have to supplement it with other services? Is it going to do everything that product X or Y does? Um, you know, we can't just go off of what the sticker says, and we can't just go off of it, what what the price is. There's a lot more that needs to go into it. And based on my own personal experience of getting burned, you know, it's well worth taking the time to understand what you're buying, what you're getting, and you know, cheap and free up front isn't always the cheapest in the long run.